think growing up in Los Angeles, especially being mixed and being in a really mixed city, it was challenging to find out for me what it truly meant to be black. And I think sports was a big part of that for myself because most of the kids who were good in sports were black. Uh, so for me, in one way, it was a way to tap into that, tap into my blackness. Once I gave up my athletic career, totally disrupted me. Who am I, not only in America, but in this world, right? What do I represent? Once I got into the University of Texas, I reached out to Dr. Harrison. Um, Talk to him about my interest in studying athletic identity. We had a great conversation. I got admitted. I got zero dollars. So I reached out to Dr. Harrison and he told me to reach out to Dr. Moore. I was in Asia at the time, so Dr. Moore, we struggled getting a conversation because the time was so different. He was like, call me back during this time. I'm like, I can't, Dr. Moore. I'm going to be backpacking in Vietnam. And once he heard me say that, he's like, wait, what? He's like, all right, man. You good, I got a job for you. I'm like, all right. GA-ship was working with the Longhorn Center for Academic Excellence, TA for one of Dr. Moore's courses, and then working with Amory helped to promote this idea of international education for students of color. Right, the ship means a vast undertaking. You you are a former athlete, right? You worked with athletes. Yeah. You can even your own like there's elements of this that I feel like measuring an aspect of foreclosure, not just the identity, yeah. like the reliance on the identity. It makes a lot more sense to me now. I'm trying to figure out, because it, it, it's very narrow. The, yeah. scope, the, scope, the scope is very narrow, right? So I always kind of, I didn't know what it was, but I think you putting, putting it that way makes a lot more sense to me now. That's why you're a teacher, man. That's why you're going to be a doctor someday. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One day. Appreciate well, yeah, you were in my class. I don't even think of, honestly, I don't even think about the fact that you're in my class. It's just more like, come on, man, share the knowledge. Let's go. Student having my peers be PhD students, PhD candidates, um, that was super motivating. To read their work, to see how they're going through the process, to see them get better, also made me realize, oh, I can get better, right? It's a process. I think that's the best thing about being in community with so many other black graduate students is that you realize it's a process. And you could doubt yourself if you only want to look at yourself where you're at. But once you realize, like, all right, this person was here too, and they, look how much growth they've had, um, I'm going to have the same amount of growth. Liberating our mind is understanding the heterogeneity of blackness, which means that black people are not just this one thing, and that we need to redefine blackness for ourselves. I think my purpose, educate, to uh, influence, to motivate people to step outside where they think it's possible for themselves. Thank you, man. Have a good break. Thank you, too. All right. Happy New Year. All right. I like when you let the hair out. Cheers. That's good. There's diversity within myself, and there's different aspects of my identity that I can pull out depending on the context in which I'm in. I'm motivated both by what I see in front of me, the leaders that have come before me, but also how far we have to 